So setups are yeah. Now this is now we are now we are now completed all the setups. Now we are now going to go into the transactional part. We are now going to the transactional part. So click on it now. We'll now go into the transactional part. So the first activity is what the transactional part creating an item. Fine, creating an item. And remember, items must be created only by the employee user or legal user. Right? No other person should be using it. The security console user should not do it. Or otherwise, from this point onwards, what happens? Rather, many, many things. After having done this, now fine. When you're logging in with a legal user, we have to do everything only by a legal user. <clears throat> Till this time, we can use a security console user. Up to step number 42, we can use a security console user. Afterwards, all of the things must be done only with the legal users. I call them as a legal user. Some of them will be calling as an employee user. Fine. Everything has done. So we are now completed all the setups, all the basic setups which are required for inventory and procurement. Now we are going into the transactional part. So we are now going to create our first item and then start our activity now. Now onwards, it will be more and more complex now. So what I did this, I have now gone there. I will now click on the home icon. And then I go to the product management. I go to the product information management. Product management. And then this screen is coming. So we are now going to create items frequently. So we will now add it to the favorite section. So there is a favorite icon on the left hand side, right hand side, top hand, go that corner. And then we're going to add it. So go there. I go to the favorites area and then click on add to favorites and click on add to favorites. The screen will be added. It is a product information management. Save and close. So it is now added. So now let us say I am in a different place now. And click on it. I am in a different place. Let us say procurement, I am there. So I want to create an item. What I do is I will now click on the favorites icon. And then here, I will now click on the product information directly. It will now go to the screen directly. So when you add to the favorites, what happens? It will be taking you to the place straight away now. How many favorites can we add? I don't know. Limit and all, fine. Limit and all, I don't know, fine. You keep on adding it. If it stops, you stop. <laughs> it does not come to the screen. So click on it. So click on the task list on the right hand side. And then click on the create item. I'm going to create my first item. Click on create item. I'm now going to create my first item. Now, we are now jumping into inventory now, fine. Till now. We are now completed the enterprise structure creation. So if you can complete your enterprise structure creation, let us say three hours or four hours also, you please post on the group now, fine. So that we will now see, people will not pick up speed now, fine. You have to pick up speed and then you have to complete it as soon as possible. <clears throat> so remember the first part I completed in 45 minutes now, fine. The express structure creation of the first part, I completed in 45 minutes. Watch that about, watch my speed in that now, fine. How fast I'm doing it. You are all youngsters. I am 62 years old. So you must be able to do it at the same speed or even a better speed now. Fine. Develop a speed. Actually. Now, items can be created only in the master. We can create item only in the master. Fine. So we'll now go to this place. Now, fine. So we'll now go on the channel. So go to this place. I will now go to the fourth place. training. I go to the fourth one. And then here, I will now go to the third record. Now, fine. Third record. So you now see, items can be created only in the master. We cannot create an item on the child arc. Items are created in the master arc, and then later on they are assigned to the child now. Fine, we can only assign to the child. So a master arc is nothing but a repository of all item definitions. So we can create an item in the master. We cannot directly go on and create an item in the child. Now. We cannot create it here and then assign it. So I have to put my master arc away now. Fine. I will now put K01. Automatically, my master arc will be coming. It, no child arc will be coming over here now. Fine. So K01, only the master arc will come. We choose it. So once when we choose it. What happens? You now see the item class is missing. That means what? Somebody is working on the product hub actually. That is why it is coming. So we will now disable product hub and then use it for inventory now. I'm going to disable it. It's not coming. So what I do is I will now click on the name. <coughs> Whenever such a thing happens, whatever you go there, you go to the setup and maintenance and then go to the FSM area first of all. You go to the FSM area and then here, what happens? You go go to actions and then go to offerings. Actions and then go to offerings. On the FSM area, you go to the actions and then go to offerings. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the product hub activity. So go there. I will now choose the product management over here. Now click on the product management. And then in the product management, you can see if you are getting a license, it will be enabled. Actually. <coughs> if there is no license, it will not be enabled. Actually. So since the training instance, everything is enabled. But in the real instance, whatever licenses you have obtained, they will only be enabled. So click on the opt-in futures. Now click on the opt-in futures. Over here. On the product management, you click on the opt-in futures. I am now going to disable the product hub activity. So there are two activities are there in the product hub. That is why it is not allowing you to create an item actually. So through the truth of all of us approvals and other things will be coming. So let me disable it because those guys are also working. I know that one. Go down, go down. So there is one governance is there. Remove the tick mark. I know that one. I will now go down. 
அதெல்லாம் கொடுத்த டேட்டா கன்சாலிடேஷன் கவர்னன்ஸ் அண்ட் கன்சாலிடேஷன் இஃப்யூமிட் போடா பொங்கா தட்ஸ் ஆல் கான் போத் ஆஃப் தம் இஸ் கான் நவ் वी कैन கிரியேட் இட் ஃபைன் ரிமெம்பர் டேட்டா கவர்னன்ஸ் அண்ட் டேட்டா கன்சாலிடேஷன் மஸ்ட் பீ ரிமூவ்ட் ஃபார் பியூர் இன்வென்டரி एक्चुअली ஃபைன் இஃப் ஹப் இஸ் देयर we can create every item by a hub only click on done it is not done now hub is bypassed now after having done this what happens you have to go on then what happens restart your instance again it will not work the changes will not be sensed at all so we will not try to check it now find with the changes since i will not click on the favorites and then i go to the item now find click on the product right now you will not see the changes i have made in the offerings whether it is now sensed or not find click on it and then go to the create it up so when you go on the do it now find it will not sense at all so k01 if you go on the do it now find so my master is coming so item class is not coming at all so what you have to do is you have to log out and log in for the changes to take effect so whenever you make major changes you have a habit of what logging out and logging in sign out and sign in <coughs> major changes must be signed out and signed in <coughs> then only the system can re- uh, re- what I mean, recognize the change now thank you for signing the other oh, one small doubt sir what is the right? abbreviation for fsm fsm is functional setup management fsm means functional setup management so i will not go that to connect i will not come to the product information management now it will be visible now no no i will not click on it i will not go to the create it up and then i will not go there <clears throat> k01 and go that i will not choose the master of a wa if you say it will come so if it is not coming you have to go there and then disable governance and consolidation log out and log in and do it while doing it what happens is somebody else they are already working there now they go and enable so next time when you creating it it will not allow you at all <laughs> so whenever you are having this problem you go there immediately do it and then quickly create the item and then come out of it only item creation will be stopped by the product of actually through the normal go fine your purchase written paper is already selected is not coming as self command click on okay now right by which whatever the template gets updated upon and then i am now going to create my first item over here now now onwards the complexity is going to begin till now we are now done a jujubi activity right is a very simple activity of enterprise structure creation now the real sort of the tough one of inventory is going to begin so k01 and then why it's stopping i think creation data governance and governance and consolidation if it's there then you have to create only via that now if governance if product hub is installed you will be getting all the items via product hub only and not via normal route actually sir what is product hub sir product hub is for what you will now create a item will now send it for prototyping and then afterwards you will now send it for approval to somebody and then every each and every attribute will be tested by somebody and then finally when it is approved what happens is the approval status will not be approved at all fine it will be pending approval actually when you are creating it via this and then when everything is coming then only item will be created and then product hub license is not purchased by every client actually very rarely they will know by because nobody will now need such a big what happens a license for their implementation actually. so only when they have a product hub license everything will be routed via that only so try to learn it i don't know uh, only very few trainers are available because it is not a commercially good program and so there are no trainers available for product hub in the market actually. inventory where are so many people are 100 of you 100 people are coming whereas if you conduct a trainer connect your product hub only four or five people only will join <laughs> so commercial it is not possible but there are experts available in the market now they won't come for training that is another problem mr <laughs> you might say the product of is enable then only we are facing this issue otherwise we won't uh, the data governance and uh, yeah, yeah governance and consolidation will be enabled and then it will be a totally a different route of creation of an item item creation itself is different so what i mean is uh, it say that we are not purchased that product of yeah okay then, now uh, Uh, uh if it is not done in the real instance i don't know if this has to be disabled actually this has to be disabled so this has to be first of all disabled so nana sir if the product have has been enabled in that case also we are going to create yeah, yeah. item from no, no, no. here no 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 if it is enabled it will not allow you to get item here you have to disable if product so for product there, have not disabled different screen it is again a different license actually okay product hub is a different if you have purchased it everything will be routed via product hub item creation will be routed via go so there the product will be created send the product will be created from product hub and then yeah, yeah. yeah. then it will, it will not through. use for normal activity correct for it normal activity of inventory then they are all same actually only for item creation it will be having lots and lots of what happens restrictions building in the product and there is a workflow in uh, in product hub so that that takes it from ideation to uh, I, I don't know. I mean, ideations and other things are there. There are so many things I heard about it, but I'm not aware of it. 
Yeah, that comes under okay. idea, ideation to design actually. So, product. Chandra is now design. saying something about ideation, product up, etc. So, he may be knowing something. And if you have to work on product up, contact Chandra. He will be of a help to you. All oh, right, whatever. Yeah. So, what I, what I'm trying to say is like it's basically a PLN system. Uh -huh. When you want to when you want to upgrade to Oracle Cloud, uh -huh. the Oracle Agile PLM system is 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 actually what is currently mapped to the cloud innovation and then uh -huh. product uh, product hub. There is a different modules that are mapped. Mm -hmm. So in, in an enterprise going for a PLM system, so they go for the product hub and PD and PMs yeah. actually. So very good, very but good. otherwise standard or PAM. Chandra, like you have worked on uh, Agile PLM and all? Yeah, uh, I worked on it. So very fantastic. Chandra so has I'm got the, a experience on Agile PLM, and then he knows the ideas, and then uh, uh, what was idea, 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 ideation, and then other things are there. So if you happen to work on it, consult, consult him. He will now give you some guides and other things to learn also. Yeah, standalone is done in PM. What I'm trying to say, okay. right? So if you don't use PM, then we have to interface through PDM. Actually. So there is one thing called product lifecycle management (PLM) of Agile, right? So that comes into picture on this now. Fine. So it's again a big portion of it. So many things you have to learn. So we are now learning a simple inventory. You know, bypass the uh, uh, whatever the uh, governance and consolidation, then we'll now use it only for inventory. Sir, if I have to compare the creation of the item. In EBIS, we used to either create the item from another item or through a template. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I... here the template is now via a root item class. Root item class, correct. In so the I root can... item class, the template is embedded, and then uh, when you choose your org, the template is coming automatically over there. Correct. So I cannot copy from another item which yeah, is already. Yeah, we can very well do whatever you do. You can also we can do it. We can very well do it. Whatever you do in EBIS, every functionality is available here also. I have not gone to that depth. Fine. You will now learn it gradually. Okay. We are mainly concentrating on inventory now. Fine. So our main focus area is what in this training, the inventory. Fine. Controls is a major topic. Then what about the transfers and then replenishments and accuracy. These are the main four major topics we are going to concern. And then you can do a lot of wonders on so many things now. Fine. That you can make an R and D later. On. So day zero one zero one is my first item. Fine. Zero one is the first item. I'll not say first item. So root item class is like uh, item type in EBS, right? No, no, no. Item type is a different one. Item type has got no functionality in EBS as well as intuition. It is only for information. Purpose. Let us say item is let us say a purchased item. Yeah, what happens a sale item? Right? Is a manufacturable item. So that is what is item type is. Item type is only for information purposes in both EBS and intuition. So root item class is basically for only product hub actually. But that has been integrated in inventory now right? in fusion. It is not so in EBIS. There is a separate license in EBIS now. Right? Here it is not so. It is all integrated. So we have to do the bare minimal setups on root item class. Right? I know that. Okay. So okay. Don't worry. So you are working on inventory. This is sufficient. But you are going to work on some other modules. You have to learn it also. So you simply de disable the governance and consolidation. We can work on inventory. If it is not coming, the root item class is not coming. You disable it. So I will now create the first item zero one fine. Go there. Click on take a copy button. Go there. So click on the description of mine. Go there. Come description. And then here, whatever they go there. I go to the association straight away. Now I am now creating it and then assigning it. Right? So both the activities I am going to do it simultaneously. Right? I will now create the item and the master org as well as I will now assign it to the child org also together now. So go there. I am now creating in the master org. I go to the associations now. Fine. Go to the associations straight away. And then here I am now going to assign it. Fine. Go there. Go to actions and then go to sell. Creation and then assignment in one go. Now. So let me query the K01 and then entering now. Fine. You know, entering it. So it's coming up. Fine. I will now choose both the orgs now. Fine. Select it. And then with the control, I'm selecting the next org also. With the control key, I'm selecting the one. So both are selected. So click on apply and done by which what happens, the creation and what happens, assignment is now getting completed. You can now see all the three orgs are going to come over here. All the three orgs will be coming. Go there. So master, child one and child two are coming. Fine. Go there. Item is created. The zero one item is created. Fine, go there. Click on it. I will now give a save and close by which what happens? Uh, the creation and assignment is now complete. So we are now completed creation and assignment. Clear on this now. Fine. Now we are now going to perform transactions. Item oh, is now sorry. created. Yeah. Even item creation must be via legal users only. Remember, right? you should not go and then do it via security console user and don't do anything about. Uh, yeah. Is there any approval required for item creation? Like a for in a product hub is required. Not for pure inventory. If you have a product up, then what happens? Your approvals may be required. You can even bypass the approvals also. Everything will be taught in the product hub training. I think oh, sorry, uh, Rainbow Training Institute conducts a training on product hub actually. They have experts there. And then even ERP tree also conducts a training on product hub. But for a product hub alone, they will not charge you 20,000 rupees. 
very very expensive actually these guys are really very expensive what to do fine because they have a knowledge and then uh, once items are created after that we can go back and enable if they, for example if you are working on company instance yeah yeah, yeah. you enable you disable it create it and then afterwards enable it fine afterwards after it is a prospective activity it is not a retrospective the moment you enable it it will not stop if you disable it it will not allow and that's all so who is there oh, pari you are telling about the company uh, instance yeah yeah sir root item class we attach the purchase item suppose uh, if we have multiple templates you can right? remove it and then change the template also uh, we will be discussing about it in the later training session we can't attach multiple templates sir no no yeah yeah multiple templates also is possible we can okay. attach multiple there are so many multiple templates can be attached to one before behind other that is why what happens okay. don't go into very complex scenarios pure inventory do not need such things at all this is the way okay. you what happens implement an inventory you will learn it gradually fine once when you what happens you have to implement some complex requirement then at the end you yourself will learn it this is the basic setups because many people here do not know fusion at all so they are learning the basics in this training and then they will know what happens they do an r and d and then learn lot of advanced things my students know a lot more now i have trained more than 3000 people in the past 18 years everybody knows more than what i know because they are do an r and d and then they are learning it actually so the platform is set for you to learn actually i know set the basic platform for you afterwards you will know make r and d and then you know learn lot of things good then fine now item is now created we are now going to perform a transaction we are going to receive it now so item created now we are going to receive the item now. i am now sending my office boy to the market and then i am asking him to make a local cash purchase now fine he is now purchasing it and then bringing so we are now going to make a local cash purchase so fine what are all the transactions which are involved in an item i will not go and say i will not go that thing i will not go to what i will not go to oracle sapati management i will not go to the inventory fusion inventory documentation and then here what happens i will not say one document is there on what happens material transfers so we have one document on mat transfers mat transfers on fusion inventory documentation and directly so we will now see what are all the transactions you make in the industry mm -hmm. now what is that now how it so we will now perform a transfers between two sub inventory fine this is called sub inventory transfers you will now move the material between two inventory or that is called known as what interop transfers we will now receive the item from a supplier and then if it is defective we are going to send it back to him as a rts or a rtv transaction it is two way all the transactions are two way actually. and similarly for the customer we will not ship it and then if something is defective we are going to receive it from the customer as a rma return material transaction the fifth type of transaction is what we are going to move the material to a work in process the manufacturing area so is what as so when you may be what happens it will be fifth transaction so these are the five standard transactions which are available in the system apart from that you will now make so many other transactions like called miscellaneous transaction right i will now come to this part a bit later no fine i am not telling you one example that i have now sent my office boy to the market and then ask him to make a local cash purchase local cash purchase so by which he will now bring it in and then he will now put it on one of the sub inventories so this local cash purchase is not part of any of the five transactions basically it is not part of any of transaction so we are now going to create a miscellaneous transaction first of all we are going to make a miscellaneous transaction is it clear now any doubts fine this is the five transactions which are there in the industry dana sir this part i will not complete a bit later yeah inter organization transfer and the transfer order both are same uh there is a big difference we will not come to it when we discuss about when you move the material between two ox fine in ebus we have only iot whereas here we have a to also available right to is equivalent to iso of ebus now fine we have one internal sales order of ebus fine to is equivalent of iso of ebus so iot and then to are same but it is different actually we are going to learn it now fine to is a very powerful one when compared to iot so we will be learning about it in this training to stands for transfer order We're learning it. It's a very powerful one. So, what so is I the difference the... between these two? Huh? What is the difference between these two? When I come to the topic, I will explain. Okay, okay. Nana, can we say transfer order and ISO are same? Trans ISO from EBS and transfer order from oh. Fusion. ISO from EBS and then uh, transfer order of Fusion. There is a difference, no? Fine. We will now discuss about it during TO. When I am taking TO, what happens? I will now discuss about it. Are you going to tell transfer order with enrichment and uh, without enrichment? Both. Enrichment means what? What type of what do you mean by enrichment? Meaning like uh, earlier we used to have IRISO, which was through yeah, the order yeah. enrichment. Yeah, IRISO is replaced by IRTO. You know, 
IRTO will be explained in order management training. IR ISO is now replaced by IRTO that will be explained in order management training. Oh, okay. So here it is only the transfer order shipment. Yeah, yeah. I am going to show the manual transfer order and then automatic transfer orders. Okay. Fine. Sir, can you can you give us more brief about uh, the difference do between now, now, fine, and... now. Once when you go to the topic, we will not discuss about it. Why to give a debate now? Fine. We are not going to leave anything now. Fine. Everything will be discussed. We are doing same training, huh? Is this training? In this training, we are going to learn about our transfer orders okay, fully okay. now. Fine. Okay. This training will be learning for transfer orders fully. Fine. Don't worry about it. It's a very complex topic. And then many people will be making mistakes also, fine. I will now do go only slowly there. Now. I will not go fast at all because the inventory is really very tough actually. Fine. Everybody has to understand it very clearly. So have you understood the material transactions in an in a, in a inventory? Fine. These are the five basic transactions which happen now. Fine. And then apart from that, if any transaction is beyond the five, then they will be considered as miscellaneous. So one of the miscellaneous transactions which I'm going to do is what? I'm now sending my office boy to the market. He is now buying something in the local cash purchase, and then I'm going to put it on another subsequent list. So I'm now going to begin by a miscellaneous transaction. Miscellaneous result that. So I will now begin a miscellaneous. Result. So we'll now go. Sir, to the better understanding of all the material transactions, we yeah. can go to the material status setup mm -hmm. and we can see the what are all the different transactions we can make under one. Um, the material the status is now going to what happens to change the attributes actually. Item attributes are getting to you. Whether the active means what? Some 25 attributes are set to yes or no. Right? So material status will now set up the attributes automatically actually by applying a template. We will more come into the material status a bit later. No? Fine, not, no. Fine. We will not be discussing about uh, that. No, what I am saying, sir. So the we are uh, we are discussing about the different type of item material transaction in yeah. material transaction type. So okay. you can see in that setup. So what are the uh, Item statuses will not give anything about the interlock transfers or sub inventory transfers fine, or uh, making a PO or making a sales order. It will not tell anything at all. How come the material status will give you? So these are the five transactions. So this has got nothing to do with the material status at all. Don't worry about it. We will be having a look at the material status a bit later. Okay? The training mm -hmm. is training. Is, don't worry about it. Okay. So this is again, so this is the this is the flow, sir. You are you are telling the flow. I'm I'm got it. What you're saying. So the complete item transaction details we can see in that window. That setup is uh, talking about all the different item transactions. That's what I'm trying to say. No, no, no. It has got nothing to do with the transactions and item item statuses actually. Item statuses and I don't think we'll now discuss about it during. Oh, maybe, maybe later, yeah. Right? Sorry, sir. Yeah, we'll yeah we'll continue. Yeah, we'll maybe that talk right? when we when we cover now. I will tell what I'm. Okay. Referring this topic and, uh, to Dana, Dana is a big man in West Coast now. Uh, Dana, do you have any openings for your people now? If you have uh, any... No, sir, not right. No. Uh, not right. Fine. You please note down he's a big man on the, on the West Coast. Fine. He's one of the big ma manager basically. Fine. Project, project manager basically. So, Dana, you keep a track of it. And then uh, if you want to have any uh, openings or anywhere, West Coast, he's controlling it actually. Yeah? Uh, <clears throat> he's in the West Coast. Actually. And uh, he is now waking up at early morning, 4.30, and then attending this training. is a great thing. <laughs> he knows much more than me, but whatever, he is still attending this training just to hear my voice. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just I, I want to participate in the training to <laughs> get the conversation discussions. Okay, people, yeah, okay. yeah, thank you, sir. He knows much more than me. Actually. He is now telling about no. the item citizens, which I am not aware. I will now learn from him, and then I will now teach you on this one. No, nothing, sir. Not <laughs> Yeah, I'm also still learning. Uh, uh, Nana, just to interrupt. Uh, see, uh, what Dana was telling is material status control and what you were saying is uh, item status. Item status which will tell active, inactive like that. Oh, oh. Whereas a material so status, the material control. status are not item status. Okay, material status, we are going to have a look at it. Now. Material status will be having. Oh, you are talking, Bizarra, you are talking about the material status or not item status? No, no, no. no. In the, uh, okay, again, again going into that material status. So material status. Material status we are going to discuss now. Uh, in that window, we can see what are all the different no, items. No, no. Yeah, we are going to cover material status. Sorry, sorry. I am going to cover material status fully now. Fine. In this training, I will be covering material status. I was I, I know, sir. I know, sir. Yeah. Items so status, basically, items. what? Yeah, yeah. How many don't different worry, items are available to the system? In that window, we can see that. This is the whole. I am now covering material status. One second. I am now covering material status from there. I will now show you my agenda. No, no, I, 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 I know, sir. You, you are this is the one now. 76th step is one now. Material status number one. Okay? So I will now show you the material status. I was thinking about item status. Material status, no, I am covering it now. 
I will no, I, I, yeah. This will be covered. Okay. This will be covered. This is going okay. to be covered. So there are five controls are there in inventory. Serial control, lot control, revision control, locator control, and then material shift control. All the controls will be talked about. Next week will be very heavy for you. Be too much of hey, if you want to create a new transaction type, a custom transaction type, then that we will be coming it in this place now. Right? When I am talking about the transaction source and transaction date, eighty and eighty one, I will not discuss about it. Okay. Okay. We will not discuss the appropriate thing and the appropriate list. Material status will be fully covered now. Right? We will be learning about it fully. Now we are now going to receive the item in the inventory now. Okay, now. now go to this place. Thank you, John. I will now click on the home icon and go to the now going to receive it now. So go there. I will now go to the what supply chain execution now. Right? I go to the supply chain execution. Right? So go to the supply chain execution. Right? So I will now go to this place. Right? Supply chain execution. Where is it? Right? Supply chain execution is the one. Thank you, John. I will now go to the inventory management. Supply chain execution. Then I go to the inventory management. Then I go to save it. I will now add it to the favorites because this screen will be visiting it very frequently now. Right? Supply chain execution went mad. That's the one reason. So click on the star icon on the top and go. Click on it. I will now go there. Click on it. I'll be doing it. And go there. Go to add to favorites. And go there. I will now say inventory overview. I will now make a change to inventory overview. So there is also add. Now, the first thing is what we have to change the org and then receive it. Now, fine. Click on it. I will now go on and change the org. Okay. So I will now go to the manage. What happens there? Uh, uh, item quantities, and then I will not try to change the org. So once when you want to change the org, the org will not be available at all. There is no org at all available because you don't have any access to any of the orgs at all. So the first part of security is what RDS. RDS is one thing, and there's a reference data set, and which we never use at all. Whereas this security, this is called data access. And this we are forced to do it, and we have to have this kind of force. Fine. I will now right click on the duplicate. So there are four data access which are available for supply chain actually. Fine, and we are forced to use it. Click on it, and then here you don't find any org at all. The change org itself is not coming. I will now go to this field. Fine, go to I will now give a data access to the org. Click on it. Go to the setup and maintenance. Setup and maintenance. Go there. Click on it. So here I will now go to the generic area of the task. Fine, click on it. Go there. Click on search. Now, fine. We go to the generic area of the task. Fine, go there. I will now say manage possibly. Data percentage, fine. Access percentage. So manage data access. Well. So go to the manage data access for users. The task name, fine. Click on it. We are now going to give access to the inventory or click on plus two. So there are four data access which is required for user. Every user must have what happens the data access for these four entities actually. Yeah. I will now say K zero one, fine. K zero one EMP one is the one. You write off of it. It will be coming. Fine. Choose it now. Fine. The roles. What happens? The plenty of roles have been assigned now. Fine. This place. So many roles are there. So if you go there, write it as so I N V. We go it. What happens? It will be coming automatically. Fine. Choose it now. And then the context is inventory or and then I will now add this. So I will say K zero one. And then it will now show both the orgs now. All the three orgs are shown. I will now choose this one. And then go there. Now we can very well. What happens? They perform the inventory transactions on this area. If I click on save and close. So the data access is now provided. Now what happens if you go here? I will now go to some other area and then come back now. Fine, because I will not see it. Fine. So you will be seeing the organization K zero one one. Fine. I will now click on the home icon. I will again come back over here. Now fine, click on the star icon, <coughs> and then I will now go to the inventory overview. Now you can see my K zero one one will be visible. See the K zero one one is visible. Fine. Now if you want to make a change of the org, I cannot possible because I got access to only one org that is coming. So if you click on it, and that one. If you go to the manage item quantities, now we can do perform activities only on K zero one one only. That is the one thing. Sir, now, it is a new functionality in uh, Fusion, yeah, right? It is because of RDS. Yeah. Now RDS is different. This is a new to one now. Fine. This is different. So multiple securities are there. The second level of security in Fusion. First level of security is RDS, and then uh, we don't normally use okay. it. Whereas this we are forced to use the data access. We are forced to use. We don't have any other go now. Fine, we are forced to use. Now, what happens? I will now allow him to work on K zero one two also. What I will do? Go there, click on it. I will again go to the what happens? Click on plus now. Fine, I will now give access to him. What what? Go there. I will now say K zero one is the one. I will now choose the username. Fine, go there. Is the inventory role? Fine, I N B is the one. Fine, go there. Role. <clears throat> go there. The inventory. Fine, go there. Point. I will now choose the inventory or. So let me give an access to the second or also. This we are forced to use. We don't have any other go. We are supposed to use this now. Fine, we cannot bypass it now. And click on seven close. Now we can see the user has got how many roles. Fine, you move the radio button to users with the red access. Fine, move the radio button from here to here. 
and then username is what k01 and then give a tap the username is coming fine for all the roles click on search now it will show you how many edit access he has got so he has got two access now you go there click on it now you will now have a change org coming up on this one right? i will now click on the home icon again now right? click on the home icon and go there so now i will now go to again my what happens in inventory overview and go there you will now have what happens you know able to see this one right? on inventory overview fine go there so it is still not visible i am able to make a change now right? click on it i will now go to the manage item quantities and see fine click on it now go to skills i will now go to the manage item quantities the change org has to come now fine it is not coming what i have to do not tell me what i have to do the change org button has to come Not log out or login. Log out and login is beautiful. Fine. Our UAE Abu Bakr is very correct. Excellent now. Yes, now okay. do we have to do this for all the users because there will be lot Fine. of combination of user Fine. and role. Yeah, very correct. Hey, your name is coming as admin now. Fine. You can you right click and then change your name. Now. You may be a real admin, but what happens? You put your real name over here. Now. Right click and then change your name. So that's what happens. Ganesh. Ganesh sir, what is the label of the security that you said the first label of is the RDS? First, not the first level or second level. That is the separate one. This is the separate one. RDS is one separate security, and then data access is one separate security. Data access is a must for supply chain. Remember, RDS is optional. We can we have got only three objects, which are RDS objects, which are what happens? Your locations, jobs, and department. Fine. If you create a common set that get bypassed here, we cannot bypass at all. Data security cannot be bypassed at all. Remember, both are okay. two different securities. So they RDS data can security. be bypassed by creating everything on a common set, whereas data access is a must actually. Okay, so uh, data security that just like that you have given for the organization yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. Click on the inventory overview, find all that. So there are four levels of data security. We are not talking about the first one on the inventory manager. So three more as and when we fail, I will not do it now. Find all that. I will not go to this place, man. I will not log out and log in. Thank you for it. So I will not go to the manage item quantities. I will go that too. I will not do that. <clears throat> now have a look at it. the change org is coming. It is come one day. Chi, we got it. Aiya, aiya. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Nana sir, what are the rules required for all complete inventory setup and the transactional transactions? See, gradually, let us learn. Now, fine. <laughs> Whatever rules I give, and it's okay. Now, fine. So this much of a role is sufficient to begin with, right? For inventory activity, and then it is now covering the procurement activity as well as the payable activity is also fine. So that you all is. We'll now come to it a bit later, right? You know, gradually, right? The change or is some because you know, given multiple works now, right? Click on the change or and go that one. I'm not going to do that. If it drop down, how many orgs will come now? If you give it correctly, we will now go for a break now. Two is hundred percent correct, so now we'll now go for a break. So we can choose this. And then when you choose it, whatever we do, whatever we do. Nana, is this equivalent to our organization access in EBS? No, no, no. It's a beautiful question, Navai. Hey, come on, admin. You, who is speaking it actually, man? Tilak, ah. This is Tilak. Tilak, Tilak. Beautiful question, Navai. It is not equivalent to our access of EBS. Our access of EBS, I said, not at come over here in fusion at all. There is a beautiful functionality. We used it to a great extent actually. Our access of EBS has not at come in fusion. We are waiting for everything. Fine. Oh, they are saying that they are not bringing in one by one everything into fusion. Fine. Or access okay. of EBS has not yet come into fusion at all. Okay. There is a beautiful functionality. We, I have used it when I was working on EBS. That is great. Now, fine. Click on stop. <clears throat> so at this stage, I am going to stop it now. Fine. Seven forty-five, and then we will now begin the next session at eight five. Now, so small work. Now, I will now stop it now.